All right, this is One Last Midnight, back with another episode of Astroneer. So in the creative update, they, they introduced an item called the Terrain Anchor. And the Terrain Anchor has to do with level of detail. So I'm going to go ahead and explain exactly what all that means to you. I hope you enjoy. Okay, one of the new additions to the game was a Terrain Anchor. And so to understand a Terrain Anchor, we need to do a little bit of setup here. Let me, um, let me put this on my body. And let's make a little guy. Okay, so for lack of doing anything super creative, here is my little guy, little, so to speak, guy that I'm quickly made, right? So let's let's see if we can understand what the terrain anchor does. Now, there's something called level of detail, and you can actually see this really easily if I just start backing up. So as soon as I get far away, I'll lose the level of detail. You can see as I transition forward and I transition back, the level of detail starts going down. And the farther and farther away I get from it, you'll see that it really starts to degrade until finally it winds up disappearing altogether. Okay, it's, it's falling apart now. Pieces of big giant chunks of my guy are missing. So the terrain anchor, what it does is it freezes the level of detail. So we're probably going to need a couple of these anchors and let me just uh, get a couple down I thought I had put one on my backpack I'll probably only need two so when I go to set the terrain anchor down I'll get this big giant circle I'll probably actually only need one so let's grab ah let's grab that could catch if I don't say so myself and what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it off for now because I want you to see what's going on so if I move away, okay, level detail goes down. Move away, level detail goes down. If I turn this on, you get a little bling. Now as I move away, you'll notice that the level of detail remains at its highest. And that stays true forever. So the terrain anchor, what it does is it locks the level of detail. I mean, look at this. My guy is totally hanging out way over there and I could completely see him. So this is fantastic for people that want to use the creative update to sculpt items and big giant things like this. They can use those train anchors and wind up covering wind up covering an area a pretty decent size and be able to preserve the fidelity of their creation, right? So if you wound up creating something that's really, really cool, you could do that. Now, here's the downside of these anchors. You can only actively have seven working at a time. You can put down as many as you possibly want, but you can only have seven on. Now, I find this to be a little bit of a disappointment because I personally, if I'm making something really, really big, seven is not going to do it. I would prefer to have significantly more. And significant, I'm just meaning double. We don't want to go overkill because the more fidelity you keep of the terrain, the uh, worse performance you're going to run on your game. I completely understand that. But if I had, let's say, a series of these guys, I had a whole chain of them, giant circle of them, for whatever reason... I'm not going to be able to keep that high level fidelity on every single one of them. Maybe I can put the train anchor on the ground and try to get those circles to encompass all of them. But I have a feeling I'm going to run out. So at the very least, I'd like to see an increase in number of the train anchors. 10 would be okay. 14 would be optimal. I'd love to see it doubled. But anyways, I just wanted to explain how the train anchor worked what it does for you and this is a very quick video and i hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you soon 
All right, so that was my video on the terrain anchor. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribers, please subscribe. We've got a great community here. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And if you want to know when I go live and post new videos, make sure you hit that notification bell. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.